Here's the project for the music processions intro and let's hear how it sounds. So this is the video that's playing along with it. That's the intro screen and this is the audio that plays along with it. Let's hear it one more time. Alright, let's get to the track. Now the concept of the track, it's a really important when you have an audio identity for a brand. And in this case, um, because the projects that we do involve orchestral music, um, electronic music and pop music, I wanted to have all elements in there. So for example, um, there are some orchestral elements in here that, um, let's see, that are these and here's how they sound. So this part is sort of like represents the film score, orchestral element of it. And these parts represent the sort of electronic pop element. So in the design of this, um, this audio logo or this ID um, is I wanted something that could very quickly identify the sort of brand or the identity of what we do for listeners and something that's short that can be sort of done in a couple of seconds. In this case, it's, let's see, this is two, it's about five seconds total, including the audio tail. Um, and that's just long enough to not get in the way, but to introduce people like, okay, this is a music pro sessions thing. Now let's get to the track itself. It, the base of the track is this chord here, right? It's this string chord and um, it's under studio strings, stereo, and basically it's violins one with a tremolo articulation. So an octave and fifths, right? If you listen to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and it's sent to a bus to give that sense of space. And bus one is space designer. It's a warm hall, large space, warm hall. And it's set at 100% wet, 0% dry. But one thing you can notice is that I pull back the reverb tail down to here to sort of control the reverb when the logo is sort of fading out because I didn't want it to last too long. So you can do that, pull back your reverb tails and I actually took off some of the real low ends of the reverb because some of it later on you can see some of the low frequencies were sort of messing with that. So I took that off. And you, uh, if you open up the automation, you can see that there's a volume automation that gives it its soft swell. And you can see it's sort of like quickly decays um, and that's not the players, it's sort of like to represent the players stopping playing and the decay of that. But um, I emulated that with a sort of volume automation down to zero. So this is the string section. And now I wanted to pair that with sort of um, more synth-like things. And I really like sort of classic synth sounds. So I wanted those to sort of blend together into one single sound. So in this case, we have this analog horns, just one big sort of bong that comes in <laughs> that sort of stamps that this is really beginning. And it's an ES2 under synth brass analog horns. And it's also been sent very generously to Reverb 1. And if you listen to it, it's got this tail, it's a nice warm reverb uh, because we're using a warm hall reverb. Just to remind you what we're using, warm hall. So together, 
something starting to shape up, but I think something needs to sit underneath that. And it's this chord. So major seven, and it works to sort of not make it too happy, neither too dark. It's sort of like this relaxed sort of feel. And um, it's an alchemy patch, so let's listen to it first. Also a very retro sounding, classic sounding synth. And in this case, uh, it's just the user default that is tweaked. And um, let's see if there's any automation going on. No automation. So it's just a pad. That's it. So you hear these together. So I like when it comes to these kind of textures to sort of make them feel like one single texture and when that texture sort of grows in and out, you can sort of hear different things come in and out. So you can hear that the analog horns come in first and then the strings sort of rise up and you get different dynamics, different mixes of the different sections. I like that. And the next thing is I wanted sort of an 808 in it because that represents the beat section of it so i didn't want this to just be this washy um textured thing i wanted a bit of a beat in it but i wanted it to be a little bit more than just like say like a drum beat it's more like a texture instead so what i did was i picked an 808 from drums and percussions electronic drum kits exs 808 put an arp on it so a very simple up, 1 over 32, and you can see, right? And these are just really short things. So they, they actually plays like this. So it's sort of like this roll that keeps on going down. And it brings some kind of percussive texture to the whole thing. And it works with the pictures as well. So. And you know, the pictures as the, the swell amp opening swell enters is when the thing appears, the, 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 the logo appears. Now, let's have a look at more tracks, right? This one is uh, horns, studio horns. And um, I use the trumpet expressive short. This, these expressive tracks in um, Logic Studio horns are really, really nice. You get these vibratos and stuff. So working together, say, with the strings. So it's got this sense of free timing a little bit. That sounds kind of full already, but I wanted sort of an sort of the orchestral bass in it. So I went to EXS strings, which I find has very nice um, sort of this or real orchestra feel. So it's under factory pop strings, ESS strings too, and it's just an octave. All right? And um, you can see it's been sent to bus one as well. So it's supposed to go with the strings. creates this sort of epic sound. Just by itself, it sounds very filmic, these two. And that's the string section. But, you know, to add all these other elements, is to bring out a bit more of that electronic pop kind of production. And I think that gives it a little bit more of a mixed identity rather than saying, oh, this is a film score channel. Now, this one is a bass, so it's covered a real low end. And you know how like those um, THX logo that you see at the opening of films is meant to represent that kind of deep filmic feel and that's an ES2 and the synth bass, sine bass. So it's this very subby sort of uh, sound. 
right? And you can see that the attack is pushed all the way up, so the, the attack curve comes in really slowly, and that sits with all the electronic bits. Um, sorry, it's this one. Just gives it a bit more of that bass. It's not as strong with just these, so this one sort of supplements that in the bass section. And I wanted to have a little more texture in it, right? Like a, a little more movement in it. And the falling star effects is some stuff you can find from... I love all the falls that you can find in Logic. And in this case, this is falling star effect 12. And it's just... It's a rather quiet one, doesn't get in the way too much. And it sort of supplements all the different sort of sounds. So these are the non sort of, uh, these two especially, are the non-tonal stuff. And the rest are sort of like the tonal stuff, right? So when it comes to sort of audio logo design or audio intro design, um, I always feel that it needs to be immediately recognizable. That's a purpose, a function of the thing. And we always need to keep in mind the function of uh, these things. So all the, the, the choices that I make within this uh, intro sound is to make it memorable, short, and something that can identify what we actually do. So these three elements are the things that drive my decisions in the making of this logo. You could do it very differently, and I encourage you to try um, different possibilities, different chords maybe, different sounds, different textures, maybe even something with the tempo and beat. But I found that this approach, this one with a bit of a free timing, textures of orchestra and electronic sounds and a bit of percussion, represented all those functions, the function of you know, making something memorable and sounds that appeal to people who are into electronic music, into orchestral music, and that is the goal that I think we achieve with this. So I'm really proud of this um, audio logo and yeah, just have a listen. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. <laughs>